Olympians have fascinated mankind for millennia. Their focus, discipline, and superior athletic ability are the stuff of legend. But ask a world-class athlete to talk about himself, and you might get a more humble perspective. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Satoshi Ishii. Uh, I'm, I feel great. Uh, I, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, that's it. What, what should I say? <laughs> it's one of the main events in the Summer Olympic Games. At the Beijing Science and Technology University Gymnasium, it's the men's heavyweight matchup, 100 kilos in men's judo. You saw the statistics for Satoshi Ishii of Japan facing Uzbekistan's Abdullah Tengriya. In 2008, Satoshi Ishii became the youngest heavyweight gold medalist in Olympic history. Following his triumph, the pride of Japan shocked everyone, turning his back on a lucrative career in favor of America and cage fighting. If I still judo fighter, more I getting a big money because judo is very popular in Japan. Mm. But uh, I want to do I want to do MMA because my dream when I was younger. So I, I, was cha I changed it to MMA. I'm judo done. Finished to judo. But judo was not done with Satoshi. And so, with the U.S. flag on his chest, Ishii stepped back into his gi when asked to by the American Judo Federation out of respect for his new home. Without training or any preparation, Satoshi defeated all three of his opponents in less than one minute and earned the freedom to pursue his dream. America! Ishii soon became a hot prospect and found himself in talks with the most dominant fight organization in the world, the UFC. But his transition to MMA did not go smoothly, which fueled the critics, causing many to question his future in the sport. Unknown to most fans, Satoshi had been asked to join the UFC's reality show, The Ultimate Fighter, and not the organization itself. When he rejected the offer, public opinion, backed by misguided headlines, turned on him. Some even called him a dud. So why don't we do this? So whoever's calling Ishii a dud, why don't you put your name on the list, email in, and why don't you show up? I'll gladly, the cage is here, and you have a 100% invite anytime, day or night, and you can shut the doors down, <laughs> and you can um, see how much of a dud Ishii is. As difficult as it is to learn new skills coming from a single discipline, even the experts can't agree which background faces the greater challenge. Depend on the, each fighter, you yeah. know, but I believe that the grappling if you come from, from judo, from wrestling, it's more difficult to learn in stand up. Wrestling, judo, the guys is very, you know, muscle, a lot mm -hmm. of muscle, mm -hmm. difficult to punch. Mm -hmm. When he punches, he open his arm, you can see everything. Mm -hmm. When he kicks, he moves all body before mm -hmm. the kicks. You know, because the addictions is a bad addiction, you know? Uh, habit, bad habits. Yeah, yes, bad habits. Yes, yeah. yes. Like that. Yeah. Maybe it's. I wouldn't say it's easier for a wrestler to pick up striking. I would say it's easy. It's harder to pick up wrestling, whoever you are. Well, I think it's a lot easier for uh, a striker to become a, a wrestler, or a jiu-jitsu guy, a ground guy, than the other way around. You know, because a, a striker is already, uh, you know, striking. You know, he's uh, 
He's been in those situations, you know, you know, where he's not afraid to get hit. And uh, you know, it depends on the person too. Depends on the person, you know. But uh, it's I, I I don't say one over the other. I'm not gonna say it's harder to wrestler to strike and always striker to wrestler. Adding complications is the UFC's domination of the sport, leaving fighters few opportunities to earn a living outside the UFC empire. You put yourself in the matchmakers, you know, spot. They're gonna say, hey, here's a guy who hasn't fought for a while, so. You're taking a risk on giving them money and yeah. putting them on your card and not knowing what to expect. Yeah. So they could have had a great camp or a bad camp. It's much more uh, easier to find a, a fight for someone if they're coming off a win or they've just fought because the, then the matchmaker knows what to expect. Despite a mismatch in his first fight, Satoshi was still able to put together a list of wins for himself. But after one controversial draw and a loss to the legendary Fedor Emelianenko, it took a year before Ishii would get another fight. Do you feel like there is pressure on you to win? Yes. Yeah. yeah of course. Everybody, everybody ha having pressure. But do you think there is pressure from Japan? Ah, uh, not. Mm, uh, but yeah, I have a pressure. Yeah, because I I hope I have a big big dream, and I have a future, and I hope I hope going to UFC. So I have a pressure, but always I don't think about you know f future things. I, I should I I have to live in the moment. If you beat Tim Sylvia decision, hmm. do you think that's bad? No. No? No. Okay. How many fights do you think you have to win before the UFC takes notice? I I don't I don't know, maybe four, five, six. That many? Yeah. Really? Yeah. With the upcoming New Year's Eve fight looming and knowing that he cannot afford another loss, his opponent, former two-time UFC heavyweight champion Tim Sylvia, has dominated Satoshi's attention, leaving little room for anything else. But while waiting at the airport, he gets a crash course in one of the smaller things. Yes. Well, maybe I need English. As charming as Siri can be, Inevitably, the time has come for Satoshi to set his sights on the challenge that lies ahead for him at New Year's Eve in Noki in Japan. Standing only a few feet away from Satoshi's hotel is Tokyo Dome, the arena where legends faced each other back in the heyday of MMA in Japan, a constant reminder of the heights Ishii has yet to climb in his new sport. Okay. Regardless of what pundits and keyboard warriors might say, when someone has dedicated his life to a discipline that allowed him to become the best on the planet, he already knows how to win. 
It just takes time to learn a few new tricks. And the one thing Satoshi knows for certain is that it is working hard every day that forges a champion.